Hello, this is Robert from Windy Corner TV. I recently built myself a small form factor computer, so I thought it might be fun to walk you guys through the build and show some video game benchmarks. First, let's go over the parts I used in this build. The chassis is the Silverstone ML09, which is a mini ITX case with a volume of 7 liters and is slightly smaller than the launch Xbox One and has the same footprint as the Panasonic 3DO. I, I expect that everyone watching this has a 3DO. Actually, I think I left a disc inside. Ooh, Road Rash. Well, I guess that automatically makes the 3DO better than any PC. One thing I like about this case is the well-placed vents for the CPU, GPU, and power supply. For the motherboard, I went with the Gigabyte AB350N Gaming Wi-Fi simply because it's the cheapest mini ITX motherboard with an AM4 Plus socket. Plus, there's a ton of I.O. on the back with built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. For the CPU, I chose the Ryzen 5 1600 because of its low cost and productivity credentials. I opted to use the stock cooler because I'm a cheapskate and it just fits in the case with only 1mm clearance. The GPU is the low-profile Gigabyte GTX 1050 Ti with 4GB of VRAM and is the most powerful low-profile GPU on the market. For the memory, I used two 8GB sticks of course of Vengeance and no, it was not cheap. Next up is the hard drive which is a 2.5 inch 2TB Seagate SSHD with a SATA free interface. I love these hybrid drives because they offer the best of both worlds. Finally, powering all of this is the Corsa SF450 power supply which is extremely quiet and fully modular, which is ideal for a small case where cable management is more challenging. Now that the computer is done, the first thing I'm going to install is... Yes, 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 it can run Doom, this computer is perfect! On a more serious note, let's have a look at some actual benchmarks at 1080p with VSync switched on. So first on the chopping block is Batman Arkham Origins with max settings and physics switched off. The overall results was an average of 59 frames per second. Next up is Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. At max settings, it easily runs at 60 frames per second. Dirt Rally at high settings with 8x MSAA gave me an average of 59.99. Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition with high settings and motion blur switched off had an average of 55.3. Ultra Street Fighter 4 running at 4K with max settings achieved a solid 149 frames per second. Tomb Raider 2013 with ultra settings and hair switched off gave me the perfect average of 60 frames per second. Then finally the more demanding Rise of the Tomb Raider with a mixture of normal and high settings with pure hair switched off, it achieved an average of 47.68 FPS. It's always been my dream to build a small gaming computer and I'm very happy with how this build turned out. I managed to cram a lot of power into a relatively small chassis that's slightly smaller than the launch Xbox One. Anyway, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.